Hello friends and welcome to another episode here on the channel and today we're doing something a little bit different. We're leading off from our previous episode that we uploaded yesterday in regards to the hidden ability fossil Pokemon and the specific den that you can visit in the Crown Tundra where you're able to always guaranteed to get those hidden abilities on those fossils. So obviously the main fossils from the Sword and Shield franchise generation are going to be the Dracovish. Dracozolt, Octavish and then Octazolt as well but there are other fossil Pokemon in those dens that you need to be aware of as well but these are the four that we're mainly concentrating down on today because obviously and with this den it doesn't just give us the ability to get these fossils with their hidden abilities even though we do have the ability patch it does give us the ability to actually shiny hunt these fossils a lot easier than the methods that we had previously in the Galar region. So you previously have to go and talk to the Digging Brothers and spend umpteen number of watts trying to get the fossils and one of each and then you'd have to visit the lady, this NPC character here, who you'd give the fossils to and she would merge them together and then you would have one of the fossil pokemon now the issue with this is you had to soft reset for these fossils there was no other way to get them in the game so if you wanted them as a shiny forms then it was a very tedious and long painstaking task but that brings us on to the crown tundra so we arrive in the crown tundra and like i said in our previous episode we discussed the den where you can get these fossil pokemon now available within the gameplay you don't need any fossils to actually merge them together or fuse them together to create these these pokemon you can actually just hunt them down in the max raid dens here so we did show you the exact location with where the raid den is in the snow steep slope is where I believe it is located in the Crown Tundra region. So if you want to check that out, you can go back to the, the previous video and there is a guide to take you exactly to this den. But in this den, like I say, you can hunt these Pokemon and you're going to be able to get all of these fossils with their hidden abilities. And there is the, the possibility now to hunt these as shinies. Now, if we hop over to Cerebi.net, they've got a detailed list of the Pokemon available in this specific den. You can see all the original Sword and Shield fossils are there as well as Kabutops if you've got a copy of Pokemon Shield and then Omastar and its pre-evolution if you've got a copy of Pokemon Shield. Uh, Aerodactyl is also there and Delibird, strangely enough, Delibird's thrown in to the dens as well. So you've got a nice array of Pokemon that you can catch, but mainly it is going to be those four Pokemon Sword and Shield fossils that we're going to be concentrating on. Like I say, the previous methods that we've had to be able to shiny hunt these Pokemon is painstaking. And I did it for hours and hours and days, and I never even got a hidden ability fossil. But until now, where we are, able to actually go into the game and uh, catch these fossil Pokemon in their shiny forms a lot easier. And just an example for this video, I'm just going to throw up the fossils that I've been hunting recently. So I've actually hunted the the all of the all four of the original Pokemon Sword and Shield fossils. So you've got the Draco's alt there, you've got the Arctovish, the Arctozolt and of course Dracovish, one of my favorites. So you can capture all of those as well. And in this den, like I mentioned before, you can see from the list on Cerebi, there is other fossil Pokemon available. Obviously in my copy of Sword, which I was catching these Pokemon on, you've got Omastar and Aerodactyl there that are available as well in their shiny forms with their hidden abilities. So you've got that added bonus as well. You're gonna be able to get the shiny of these fossil Pokemon a lot easier now using something like a C checker bot uh, and um, as I mentioned in our previous episode we do have a free C checker on our discord that you're more than welcome to use if you want to use these methods to get these shiny fossils uh, the link will be down in the description so make sure you just click over to that join the discord join the community it's a great community we've got a great bunch of people over there and it would be great to have you over there and if you do try to hunt these fossils with their in their shiny forms I do wish you all the best of luck and uh, I will link my previous guide as well that takes you through all the steps that you would need to complete to actually get these shinies and it honestly isn't that grueling and it is a lot faster than it would be if you were soft resetting for these with that npc character in the galar region so 
that about wraps it up for today my friends i hope you've enjoyed this little update it is useful information i believe there are a lot of you out there that probably still haven't shiny hunted these soul pokemon and this den gives you a lot of opportunity to get not only their hidden abilities but them in their shiny forms a lot easier and if you do get a shiny den it's always worth sharing it with friends as well and hosting it so other people can get these shinies a lot more freely they're definitely shinies everyone wants to have in their collection but they were previously very difficult to get so hopefully with this information it makes it a lot easier for you guys to get a hold of these fossil pokemon in their shiny forms so i'm signing off if you enjoyed the episode please remember to drop a like on the video and do consider subscribing if you do enjoy this sort of content as well as all the other content that we do here on the channel and uh, leave your comments down below and let me know if you will be shiny hunting these fossil pokemon and which one you will be going after or will you be going after all four be interesting to hear so thanks for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all for the next one so until then bye bye